what a beautiful day to begin with thank you so much for being with us and i hope you like uh, my japanese animation playlist and today i'm going to review in this corner of the world it's a similar to grave of the fireflies that talk about a uh, the post war situation and the people and the tragedies that the families and people in japan has to go through so in this we talk about suzo a 18 year old girl living in the seaside area with her grandmother um, helping her family business that is like growing edible sea seaweed so she is informed by her parents that Uh, there is a guy who is willing to propose you will get married with you and i hope you will meet him and like him and if you willing then you can get married with him so there come shusaku shusaku she met him when they were child so she agrees and get married and goes with him it's just like few miles away in another naval city and she goes and lives with her in-laws as she is just getting acquainted with the environment and now as a housewife she wanted to uh, start her life in this uh, naval city there comes a uh, notifications from the authorities that soon or later this town will be raided since the story is all about 1940s something that time when the pacific war happened so now the people started panicking the shortage of food the food rationing and the survival and all these things now become a normal routine life so the town and the people were all upset and she plays a vital role to keep her cheerful character and helping all those people how to a uh, find food what are the particular recipes you can try for survive and how to meet your clothing needs turning kimonos into multiple clothes and trousers so she has been helping lot of people but this comes with a huge price because the people over there they were building their shelters or like to say, to save themselves so his family was also planning that one and suddenly what happens uh, she got the company of her niece so her niece lives with him with with her harumi and since that their in-laws house is at the top of the hill so they can see all the naval ships so what happened she she is good at drawing because that was her passion and she loves that she draws the uh, pictures of that naval ships then people starting a uh, gossiping and accusing her that she is a spy so one day her another friend comes and he meets her and telling her that he is a uh, head of one of the crews over there and he is saying final farewell for the last time so her husband uh, knows all this and gives them a time so that at least they can talk to each other because it is uh, the last time they are seeing each other being old friends the next time the news comes that her husband also get a call to join the troops so now friend also gone forever husband no nothing to know about what will happen with him then comes the time that the strikes happen panic chaos the city turns into ashes and she loses her niece harumi and also her uh, right arm but what happens she goes through depression and all this harumi's mother always blame that suzo just because of you my daughter just lost and she is very upset with the situation and especially losing the loved ones all around in the city so there are plenty of things that she has to go through but few days later there comes another a uh, 
the radio notification that now we are uh, given up and uh, surrender to our uh, allies and all this so Suzo somehow trying to find out what happened with uh, uh, her family so she see she sees the nearest village of her grandmother and her sister is there so what happens her sister tells that a uh, mother and father they got a uh, hit also due to the radiations and they are no more and i ran towards my grandmother and i'm living here so after because this is it the whole situation and all the place around them has a radiation poisoning so she loses her sister also somehow uh, she come across a her, her husband who comes back and sees her and says that i found a new home and new job and we can live there and she see a orphan girl there she lost her mother and she finds suzo as her mother so suzo just adopts her and then in the end you can see that uh, she's living with her daughter growing her so sewing clothes in her own hands and you will see this movie is very like the story of a young teenage girl how she becomes a housewife forgetting about her talent giving up her a uh, hobby of drawing and just embracing her priorities priorities to take care of her in-laws priorities to be helpful to be a a beacon of light for all the people around her and how help them how to survive through all the odds and moreover the price she paid during this that time lost her family her brother also she lost parents also lost sister also gone and after that her niece also gone so a lot of things that she sacrificed and i hope you will really like this it's similar to grave of the fireflies but grave of the fireflies is best really because just to see that is some of the good movie that really like to be watched and i hope if you have not watched it just watch that one also if you have watched in this corner of the world you should also watch the grave of the fireflies so thank you so much for being with us and i hope you really like my uh, playlist and if you have any uh, recommendation please help me it's best to uh, learn more about the animation the stories that made the headlines into into the international cinema and i hope you will really like it because just telling the story in the riddle but whenever you will watch it you will really like how the directors and the teams have put this one especially it was like at the box of if the budget was like 2.2 million us dollars and they earned like 22 million abroad it's a good, big hit i hope uh, you will like this kindly like share and subscribe and press the bell icon for more notifications thank you so much bye bye